Well, hello there, YouTube. Look at this. It's surprisingly nice out here this morning. It is, what, 52 degrees? It's Monday, the 7th of June. It's been mostly little patches of sunshine this morning. Man, it came down so hard last night. Thought the roof was gonna come in. Thought you were gonna cave right down on top of us. But it hasn't rained an hour, so things are starting to dry up a little bit. All right, let's start off a Monday. Man, is it stunningly gorgeous out here. Missed all kinds of cool fields with wildflowers. Here's some more right here. Oh man, that does the body good. Good old American flag. This is America. <laughs> Why does everybody say that? And I'm a knucklehead and do the same. Mama. Yes, I hope. That dead gum Monday came back around I'm again. Not. I told her to stay away. Didn't listen. They come too quick. Luckily, we made it here with just the lightest of sprinkles. Which is good. I mean, so light, it's like somebody ran their windshield wipers kind of light. Yeah. <laughs> their washer, you know. Anyway, have yourself a wonderful Monday. You too. And I'll see you throughout the passings there, little Sounds woman. Good, huh? All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye. So, this is a 2013 Spider RTS. And uh, it's actually not on my schedule yet. But uh, I'm, I'm waiting for someone to show up. It's a customer wait on a BMW. So, I figured I would take this thing for a quick ride and see if I can see what he's talking about especially since it's not raining and then the rest it'll, ooh, look he's got the comfort shield on there I love those shields so there's something about the brakes making noise up front we'll take her for a rip and see what we can find pads are good I remember when 2013's came out and you know, they had kind of changed the frame. Whether you know this or not, the 2013 was supposed to be the first 1330. So there's a lot of 1330 stuff on these, like motor mounts and where you uh, where you check the oil. There's this odd little, it looks like a cup holder underneath the right side of the seat. And you're going, what is that? We had no idea. It looked like a cup holder. And then... 2014 to 1330s came out and where that cup holder was was the hole where the dipstick came through Here I'm gonna do some little low speed stop and go see if I can make the brakes make noise I didn't bring the RO down with me But I know it was front brake noise I hear something Rattling I don't know where that's coming from I can assure you it has nothing. It's not the front brakes making the noise. So we uh, we found an element, but it's a little higher than I wanna wanna pay. In this area in Vancouver, it's a 2003 Element EX all-wheel drive, which is like the last two we had. But it's the early ones with the non-colored panels. So they got those kind of gray panels that turn to the sun, just eats them alive, and then they turn like a light gray. Anyway, it looks clean. Um, mileage is 192, which is about what, what I'm seeing. Well, anyway, based on 192,000 miles and the model that it is, looks like it's it's worth around 48. And the guy's asking um, $59.95. And my son says, go in there and wave cash in his face. It's a, it's a little small mom and pop used car sales place over in Battleground. And um, anyway, I think I'll offer him five. I'd be happy with five. I mean, people are asking actually way over what things are worth here lately and it appears the elements aren't 
aren't any different. I found them as low as 3,500, but they're two-wheel drive and well over 2,000 or 200,000 miles. Those are element, motor, element motors. They're tap and lock nut valves. Has a cam chain. No, no, uh, a timing chain. No, no uh, timing belt. So you don't ever have to worry about that. Those things, it's just the most basic of service on those things, and they just go, go, go. Change the oil, check the valves every, is it 60 or 80? I don't know, whatever it is. Simple, super simple. You just knock a, one little cover out of the way, the valve cover comes off. You reach in there with a wrench and a screwdriver and adjust the valves, you know. Feeler gauges, obviously. And this craziness going on with the uh, trucks and stuff, it won't last forever. It'll all settle down. We'll find a little used truck, because trucks are really handy to have. And we'll find something. But anyway, uh, I was showing my kid, and he goes, I'll offer him five for it. Wave cash in his face. He goes, the max I'd pay for that pop would be 55. Don't pay, he goes, don't pay no six thousand dollars for that thing. I said, I ain't paying no six thousand dollars for it. You know, at that point, you know, you're about twelve hundred dollars more than what it's worth. And high mileage, even though it's a Honda, that scares the heck out of people. Doesn't scare me, I've been around Hondas. Got my kid used to go through those things, he'd find them cheap, run them clean them up, sell it, buy another one cheap, man, four and five hundred thousand miles and they run like a top, absolutely run like a top, so we had this uh, 86 I think it was, C CRX, is that what they call them, CRX, the little crotch rocket everybody called them, and uh, he ended up selling it to an ex-girlfriend, and uh, she was bombing along and the timing belt broke in it. And he thought all those uh, Civic motors were non-interference, but uh, yeah, he found out it, it wasn't, or she found out. That goofy kid, I think he ended up helping fix it. That boy, he's too giving sometimes. Which I guess is good, but financially speaking, that's not always smart. And I don't know how long it was she had it. I mean, maybe that was something he should have should have checked before he sold it, because they're really easy to put in those little inline fours. But anyway, I'd, it'd be nice if we get a break because it's not that far from here. I'd like to take him out there and take a look at it. Just let him, I know how elements run and everything, just let him take it for a ride. He's the Fred G. Sanford of used cars. He works on way more cars than I do. I just buy cars I don't have to work on. He gets things so cheap, I don't know how he finds it. Like that Ford Ranger, a neighbor of his was selling it. He got that Ford Ranger for $500. I'm like, what the heck? The only thing he ever had to do to it was uh, uh, replace the clutch master cylinder in it. I remember out there, it was like 100 degrees outside, and it was during one of the fires here a couple, three years ago out there. I thought I was going to pass out out there in the opening with that thing. That's smoke, you can't breathe, and it's so hot that it's like the heat takes the oxygen out of the air, you know? <laughs> we got it bled. It was not a one-person job, by no means. <laughs> Still drives it back and forth to work. I said, do you drive that new Chevy? He goes, no, Pops, it's too low-geared. He goes, that thing screams. Ah, oh, he's got a hood or a curb scooper on this thing. I 
absolutely amazes me what you can talk people into or they talk themselves into it so like what I like to do which I was able to do with this one works really good when you know you're vlogging is to forget why you're writing something because when you forget if it does anything literally anything strange it jumps up it goes whoa what was that or ooh what the heck was that sound it grabs you well nothing literally nothing grabs me on this thing everything performs nice the acro muffler that's installed on it is performing like it should definitely nothing wrong with the brakes so I have no idea so I need way more details if there's something wrong with this thing or something perceived to be wrong another thing that can happen with these this is the first year that uh, BRP switched to Brembo's and the high metallic content of the brakes can make a metal to metal sound that if you didn't know they did that would uh, lead you to believe that the pads are gone and you're riding against the backing plate they can literally make that that was a big thing when people were switching over I think I was starting to tell that story earlier and the squirrel ran across the road kind of a thing but this thing runs really good every time I turn around you're putting another bottle of death in that thing I always see you putting death fluid in these things you guys must put some cr crazy miles on them things huh I'll run you but yeah I shipped it to go no actually not that bad not that bad at all it won't be that bad how's your how's your face good Oh, you hit your chin or something? Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, you may have. Snag the old curb scooper. Yeah. And I just I, <laughs> Oh no. That that right here. I need to clean the little spot off the windshield because every time I see that thing I, I think of you getting whacked. <laughs> Crazy old Ben. <laughs> Gotta love him. Thanks for coming along for the rip. Wow, very nice 2013. These were the best of the twins by a long shot. Because they're essentially rolling on the 1330 chassis. They handle a lot better. Everything's nicer about them. Except for it's a, still a twin. But I, I can't blame them for that. So we're at this little private 
auto sales thing where the element was. So we come out and look at it. And guy comes out, he goes, man, he goes, I can't sell it. Last night, somebody, some crackhead, that's a trucking company sitting right there. Some crackhead came out here and stole the cat out from it. I guess the ones that the elements come with are, uh, watch your hand there for a second. Oh, sorry. That's it right there. It's an 03 automatic all wheel drive. Kind of like the 06 we had. Yeah. In fact, everything looks the same. Well, always wasn't until 07 that things changed in it. He goes, I can sell it to you, but it's a straight pipe. I said, no, wait. He's got a cat coming for it. <laughs> we'll talk then. Mama, you think there's any chance we'll get lucky tomorrow like we did today? I don't know, but there's a cross my fingers. I can take that kind of rainy day any old time. It's quite nice, very pleasing. 60 degrees out there now. It never did get too hot today. Like the heaters came on a couple times downstairs when we had the windows open too long or the doors open too long. We wore a coat on a test ride. Well, hello there, YouTube. Absolutely stunning even. evening. Evening, even. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's, I it's supposed to be rainy and not. I don't I'll know. take it. I haven't even looked at the weather for tomorrow. I don't even want to. I don't want any disappointment. We'll just get up, see what it is. If it's raining, that's all right. If not, like it was today. Yeah, heck I'll take yeah. It. <laughs> okay, we got a nice ride in on a spider, and it was good. It was you a scored. good day. Finishing up on a BMW doing chain sprockets, brake pads, and stuff like that. You guys have seen this BMW quite a bit. Good Lord, he's got a lot of miles on that thing now. Good Lord. That S1000R. Means he's riding. Oh, man. He rides that thing a lot. Must be nice to get all, all that. Hey. Get all that seat time going. But anyway. On that, I think we're going to call it a day. Go in there and build my vlog. Get a night's sleep. Start another day. Yep. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appre appreciate it. See, you did it to me. It's catching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Tuesday or Wednesday. Heck yeah. All right. See you in the morning. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching now. Bye-bye.